Howdy folks, I'm the Roleplay Gamer and I like to party. Welcome to Webcam Land! I can't really show you my thumb, it's... <laughs> Keyboard's in the way. Anyway, you get the idea. Today we're going to talk about Space Sim Peripherals. So we're talking joysticks, we're talking HOTAS. What is HOTAS, if you're not aware? Hands-on throttle and stick. So it includes a joystick and a throttle. It's a two-piece monster. They're becoming more popular um, with the release and the upcoming releases of, of games like Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen, No Man's Sky, that sort of thing. Space Sims are coming back and that's really cool because I'm a huge fan. So what is the best joystick or HOTAS for a game like Elite Dangerous? I'm going to give you a cop-out answer, unfortunately. I'm going to say whatever joystick you prefer. But leading on from this, I'd like to have a conversation about the current landscape of joysticks, HOTAS, general um, space sim hardware and peripherals. And I don't mean to make it sound really serious and wanky of like, we'll talk the landscape of peripherals. No, no. <laughs> Let's keep it lighthearted. But this is a conversation I want to have because it's like, it's kind of, I'm kind of passionate about it um, because I love the concept of, of really getting into the space sim sort of genre and getting immersed in it. And part of that is having the right controls. So what, 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 what are our options here? Unfortunately, not a lot. Um, from from my travels, and I have looked, man, you know, I've I've not to exaggerate. Um, I'm being deadly serious here. I've I've probably looked at every single review there is on you know Hotas products over the past almost a year. You know, um, I've delved into this shit, man. <laughs> And, and people usually recommend the X52. I mean, with a couple of, you know, dissenting opinions here and there and reservations, it seems that, that most people will recommend the X52 for Elite Dangerous. Part of that is, um, and if anyone's interested, I'm just using my mouse here um, to control headlock here in Elite Dangerous. That's what you're seeing on screen. Um, part of that is because the, the, jo the joystick in-game in Elite Dangerous resembles the X52 uh, quite a bit. Um, but more so, I think the X-52 is so popular, or rather it's, it's re recommended so much just because it's the only joystick in its price range. You've got the X-52, the X-52 Pro, which is quite a bit expensive, even more so in Australia, if you can even get it, because seriously, there's like no Australian stock, at least last time I checked, which is, last time was probably about a month or two ago, there's no Australian stock, it's ridiculous. Um... And then you, and then it jumps up, and you got your like your warthog and your X fifty five. I think is that cool. I'm 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 less knowledgeable knowledgeable about that stuff because it's just honestly out of my price range. So I don't even I don't even bother with it. Um, so you've got the X fifty two, and then you've got like the real cheap and nasty. And I don't I don't mean like really nasty. We'll talk about that in a second. But the the the, the cheaper option of the Thrustmaster T flight Hotas X. Um, and that's like, if you look around, you get a good deal, maybe 60 bucks Australian. So I have actually tried that one. Um, not extensively, because I mean, so take my opinion uh, with a grain of salt, because I haven't used it, you know, every day. Um, and I think you need to, to properly review a product. Um, but I have tried the, the T-Flight Hotas X, the cheap one, uh, for about half to an hour. And... You know, you can't deny that what you're getting for the price, it's good stuff. If you just want um, an entry level, if you just want the concept of a HOTAS without all the fancy bells and whistles or, or, or without it looking spectacular, um, that's probably the way to go, you know, if you're, if you're motivated mostly by price. But it does, it does feel cheap. I actually prefer... Um, what I'm using here is a, a Logitech Attack 3, which most people, I think, will tell you that it's a crap joystick. But we'll go into that in a second. I love it. Um, I actually prefer the feel of this, the resistance it gives you. Like, it's not so much resistance that you've got to put muscle into it. Um, like, the more expensive, like, professionally-minded uh, joysticks, like the the Warthog and whatnot. I'm, I'm under the impression that they really need some force. This just has a nice light resistance, so it feels like you're, you're gripping something, you know, it's, it's, it feels nice, um, but it's also easy to use. Uh, so I actually prefer this to the to the T-Flight. So you, you've really only got, you know, unless you want to spend hundreds upon hundreds, uh, depending where you live, you've only got the option of the T-Flight and you've got the X-52, 
but then the X-52 has its own issues, you know, the, the overwhelming impression I get is the build quality is not great, and their, their um, quality, what you, quality assurance, I don't know what you call it, is even worse, so <laughs> there's a good chance you have to send it back, um, which, is, which is kind of awkward, again, take that with a grain of salt, because I don't own one, this is just me, like, secondhand knowledge from all the reviews and all the shit and testimonials and this and that forums that I've read, and I've read a lot. Um, so if you're, if you're watching this video because you're looking for a, a HOTAS, you're looking for a, a, a joystick, you've probably read the same stuff. Um, so the issue here is space sims are coming back. I've, I've, look... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start spouting like I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start saying I know um, the economic state of joysticks, this and that. But I, I would be shocked if if Hotas and joysticks weren't at an all-time high in terms of sales right now, um, just because there are so many things coming out that use them, and not just not just base sims, but they're the you know the probably the um, the most popular reason to get a, a HOTAS set up, or at least a joystick. So it got me thinking, you know, I've sort of, I've sort of put down the idea of getting a HOTAS. I've, I've, I've forgotten about it. And, and I realized just, just a couple days ago, you know, of course I'm getting by with this, but it's not, I'm not just getting by with it. My attack three here, it's a really good experience. Yes, it's getting old. It's I've had it for eight years, seriously, and it's still holding up. It's, I mean, it still works. Everything about it works. Yeah, it's got a little bit of play in the joystick, which I'll show, in, show you in a second. We may as well take off here, um, and then we'll talk about my setup here, if you're interested. Um, I understand this could come across as a really self-indulgent, wanky video, so I don't know. I'm, so, I'm sorry for that, but I, I just want to get this discussion going um, because it's, it's a really cool concept. You know, the really immersing yourself in the control of this of this spaceship let me just turn my speakers off just in case i don't want it to bleed through on the mic um i'm always paranoid about that sort of stuff you know it's a really cool concept and and i really want to get into it but there are so many just barriers to entry and you know that's probably not even the right thing to say it's just i they, i feel like there should be more choice and of course i would want there to be more choice um okay so we'll just fly it into space here. So what I was talking about is, yeah, there's a little bit of play in the joystick there. So as you can see, I'm not actually putting any force on the joystick. I'm just tapping it gently. Um, and yeah, you, the ship moves a little bit, right? So that's awkward. Yeah, it's old and I've used it a lot, right? But for a product that's eight years old, that has had a lot of use, um, it still works, man. Like everything works. All the buttons work. It's still, it's very responsive. It, it feels nice. I love the feel of it. So more choice. And it got me thinking, what the, what the shit, Logitech? Why are, why are you not making joysticks? I mean, okay, yes, I'm aware this is a niche. This is a niche market. Absolutely. But it's getting more popular. Surely there would be some value in reviving this, this control medium, you know, and, and, and like I said, it, it works for other games too, like Mech Warrior is totally, you know, a joystick kind of game. Of course, you don't have to use a joystick, it's perfectly fine with keyboard and mouse, but it's totally a joystick kind of game. Personally, I would, oh man, I would love a Logitech, just HOTAS setup. And let me explain myself here, I... I'm kind of a, I'm a Logitech fan, but I, I wouldn't call myself a fan boy. Um, I'm not going to like, if, if Logitech comes out with a shit product, look, I'll say the, the, the controllers, not a fan. <laughs> I don't think they're very good quality. Uh, and I don't think they're very comfortable. Um, they're just cheap and that's cool. You know, if you're motivated by price, that's a, you know, it's a great, it's a decent product. So I'll say, um, for, for the price. Let me just turn down my volume here. That music is getting a little loud for me. Okay. So, I'm not a fanboy. They just make pretty decent products. They make, they're reasonably affordable. They're, they're on the whole, 
on the, on the whole, uh, pretty good. They do they do what you want them to do, you know? I've got a Logitech joy, uh, joystick, uh, mouse, keyboard, the webcam, uh, the controller, like I said, the speakers, all Logitech. And I, I, I know this is, sounds, this is making me sound like a Logitech fanboy, and I'm, and I'm not shilling for them. Yes, they do have shitty products as well. Um, but yeah, they just, they've been fairly reliable for me. And I just reckon they would kill. They would absolutely kill if they brought out a Hotas setup. And then, and then again, that, that I could be completely wrong. Like I said, like who am I to to, to make comments on on uh, how lucrative the joystick industry is? You know, if we can call it an industry in and of itself. Um, but back to the question of what is the best joystick or what is the best Hotas setup for Elite Dangerous or Star Citizen or any game like that. For me, right now, it's this. It's this bloody old ass, cheap Logitech Attack 3 joystick. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I could spend a lot of money and, and maybe improve my setup, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of good. And, and in a way that, you know, that's good. That's good for me. But it also just highlights that there's really just not enough choice. Like I said, we've got the X-52 and we've got the T-Fly. But yeah, it just baffles me. It just baffles me that we that we really haven't got a lot of options. Logitech, make it happen. <laughs> or anyone. Anyone. Uh, come out with some competition. That's what I'm about, man. That'd be really cool. So if anyone's interested, let me show you what I got here. Of course, I got the joystick. Um, trigger is, is primary fire. Uh, I think the... Button three up the top here is uh, secondary, targeting down below, boost on the side button here, and I believe it's targeting on the other side. I haven't played Elite in uh, in a couple weeks, so <laughs> I'm a little fuzzy. And then I got my uh, my keyboard here with some macros. Um, I would actually, like if you're going to go joystick and mouse, I would recommend a key, uh, keyboard with a decent amount of macros. You don't have to have this exact keyboard. Um, I've got the, the G910. Um, again, Logitech. I sound like such a huge fanboy, but I swear, baby, I swear I'm not. But yeah, so I've got my, I've actually set it up so that, uh, let me just pull down my throttle here. So I've kind of got, I kind of got a, a throttle um, here without actually having a throttle, which I'll show you in a second. But by default, um, forward thrust, W. While, while I'm holding it, I'm thrusting forward. When I let it go, I stop. Um, same, same deal backwards. Uh, then strafing left and left and right on A and D, up and down, R and F, pretty standard. And then I got my yaw, which is Q and E. And that works the best for me. That just makes perfect sense. Because um, everything's right there and, and I'm fairly dexterous in combat as a result of this. And then of course I got my jump on J, um, my boost also on tab, just in case my thumb is tied up with something else um, and I can't boost from my joystick. Then I've got my landing gear up here on my uh, G keys, uh, G key uh, G6. Landing gear I can open my, my cargo hatch with G9 up here, which I'm not going to do because I'm not sure if I got cargo in my hole. <laughs> and then I've got my my sort of poor excuse for a throttle over here, but it seems to really work for me. So the the bottom one, uh, G5 here is nothing. That's we're stopped. Then we've got I think 25 percent. 50% throttle, which puts me in the sweet zone of maneuverability, right? So when I'm in combat, I'll just go boom, 50% or 75%, depending on the ship, because it does seem to vary. Um, and then if I need to go faster, then I hold my W. While I'm turning, I let go of W and I do my turn. You know, it's super easy. Then 75% and 100%. And it's as simple as that. And I think that, for me at least, that's the best setup. If you're going to go keyboard and joystick, that's the best way to go. Where is the station? Is it? Is, it, is this? Well, yeah, there it is. Okay. Cool guys. Okay, that's my targeting. Targeting, rather. <laughs> Haven't played in a little while. Um, and then of course I got my head look on my mouse, and that's pretty much it. That's what I do. That's what it's all about. Anyway, guys, I don't know if this was interesting to watch. Please let me know in the comments what you think. You know, what's what? What do you use? Really dangerous or Star Citizen or any of those sort of games. What's your setup? Do you have a Hotas? Do you use keyboard and mouse? Do you use uh, keyboard and joystick? 
you know, mix of the two. And uh, and what do you think is the best joystick on the market right now? Or rather, what's the best HOTAS setup, in your opinion, on the market right now? And if you don't have it, what would you get in an ideal world? Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to gently caress that like button. It needs love like everything does. Taste the game, be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out. That would be cool though, wouldn't it? Actually building a cockpit and whatnot. Oh man. <laughs> if I had the time, that'd be so cool. Um, that's like, that's delving into ultimate nerddom though. Like you, you, no one's ever coming back from that. <laughs>